Hey guys, it's Otters Gloom, and today I am bringing you a highly requested video. I will be drawing characters from the amazing Digital Circus, and we are going to play in all of your favorite art games on Roblox, and a few new ones too. So grab some snacks, and let's get this party started. Off we go! Okay, we are going to kick things off here in Speed Draw. Oh my gosh, look, it's a little tiny Gojo. Stop! <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, we have the theme duck. Um, I really don't know how I'm going to turn duck into the digital circus theme. Um, so I'm just gonna start drawing the duck and hope like my idea comes to me. We're gonna do like a little white duck in a pond. And you know what? I think what I'll do is just give it like a little hat like Pomni. So we are going to give it like the little jester hat that she has. And then I'm just imagining that like if Pomni had like a little pet in the digital circus, it would be this little duck. I think it's super cute. Um, and we are going to give it like the little um, blue and red eyes just like Pomni has and then try to give it a little bit of an outline and then add some detail to the water around it so it doesn't look like it's just floating there and I think this is going to work. Okay, here's this cute little duck. I think that's adorable. I'm going to give it three stars. Oh, this one is so good. Five stars. I really like that duck. Oh, this is like a little mallard duck. I love that. It reminds me of like the Squishmallow Avery. <laughs> I like it four stars okay here's mine you know it's probably not the best duck that I've ever drawn in my life but I think I did like you know pretty good considering that I had to turn it into digital circus theme so let's see what everybody else thinks about it and the winners are no <laughs> I did not make the top but the one in first place was really really good I liked that one last place oh my gosh <laughs> okay we have the theme funny this is a super easy one to like adapt to really whatever you want to draw so this is perfect i'm gonna draw probably my favorite character in the amazing digital circus which is bubble i think bubble is just so funny um so we're gonna start off with like some pastel colors and try to make him like look really shiny and reflective and then give him like his little teeth and then i'm gonna draw the scene where he's like lapping up pomni's like digital barf <laughs> I don't know why I think that part's so funny, but also like so gross. <laughs> why are you like this? <laughs> and then I want to add like a little bit of shading to his tongue. And then um, I think I've got time, so I'm gonna give him a little bit of an outline and maybe some sort of a background so he's not just floating there. And um, I'm gonna use just like the basic colors that are all throughout, which is like the red and the yellow. Okay, this one's pretty good. They have like their eyes crossed and the tongue sticking out. I'm gonna give that three stars. <laughs> this is like the, the puddle that um, Bubbles is lapping up. <laughs> I, <need> <laughs> I do not know what this one is. But you know what? It made me laugh, so I guess four stars. <laughs> oh, you know what? This one is not super funny, but it's really cute. So I'm still going to give it four stars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if this one does not win, I will be shocked. This is amazing. 10 out of 10 Shrek. I love it. <laughs> Here's mine. You know what? The The background looks like really atrocious now that it's up on the voting screen. I kind of regret adding it, but you know what? I think Bubble looks pretty good. So fingers crossed. We'll see if I make it in the top. No! Oh, denied again. <laughs> but the Shrek was so good. I'm glad it made it. Okay, I came in fourth, so that's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so now I have the theme Roblox. Um... I, I don't know if this is cheating, but I am going to draw like Ragatha as like a avatar on Roblox. Cause you know, I see people like cosplaying as characters on Roblox all the time. So that's what I'm kind of doing. Um, we'll, we'll see if everyone buys it. <laughs> It's totally not cheating, okay? Um, we're gonna draw her in her cute, like, little blue dress with the blue bow on her head and give her the button eye, which totally reminds me of Coraline. I love her character. And she's, like, so super sweet in the show. You can't help but, like, love Ragatha, okay? Um, we're gonna give her hair, like, a little bit of an outline. Um, I think it's so cool that she looks kind of like a little raggedy Anne. I think she's adorable. Blush on the cheeks. And there we go. We, we got it. Yes, Roblox man face. <laughs> Classic. Okay, you know, it's the Roblox symbol, you know, it's it's a little basic, but you know, it, you can't deny that it's not Roblox. Yes, the woman face too, that one's so good. The lips are a slay. I'm giving it four stars. You know what? No, five is really good. <laughs> okay, we got two noobs and we got the Roblox symbol in the back. They're wearing scarves though. Okay, here is mine. Now that I'm seeing it, it really doesn't look like Roblox at all, but maybe they'll forgive me because it's just so cute. <laughs> Come on, five stars. Okay, fingers crossed. Please, please, please. 
No! <laughs> I lost to the Roblox symbol, are you kidding me? I thought for sure at least the man or woman face would be in the top because they were both the best in my opinion. And I'm basically a professional, okay? <laughs> I, I pretty much tied with last place, go figure. Okay, we are moving into spray paint. I wanna see what everybody is up to in here today. Looks like we got some really cool art hanging out. Oh my gosh, is this guy okay? <laughs> Oh, this one's really good. I love the squid on the head. Okay. All right. Enough of that. We are going to go find our little secluded spot back um, behind the train cars. I like to draw back here because usually people don't bother to come back here. And it's a nice big wall that's like really well lit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start drawing a uh, Pomni. And I want to do like a specific um, scene from the show. I want to draw Pomni when she is like floating through the void. And I have a really good idea on how to kind of create the effect that um, is in the show whenever she's floating through the void. So hopefully I can pull this off. We are going to start with like her outline and I'm trying to do a really good job of capturing like Pomni's expression, which might be my favorite part of the digital circus. I think the animation is so good and they did such a good job of like creating um, like Pomni's like absolute face of distraught. Like she has seen some things. <laughs> I love all the expressions that they're able to make. Um, it's just so good. But um, I feel like the proportions are a little bit off. So I'm going to try to fix some of that. And I feel like these eyes just just are not it. So I want to try to erase them and try again. If you notice, her character has like some variation in line weight, um, especially on a lot of her facial features. And I think that's really what kind of like creates her look. So I'm trying to do that um, and then fix up her hat a little bit here. And I think it might have been like a small change, but to me, that makes a world of a difference and I feel so much better about it now. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some shading to kind of give her face some dimension um, Just like a little bit of shadow like where her hair is falling and like under her chin and stuff And then I want to create like those like pupils that she has I, I don't know what like that pattern is But I think it's really cool and unique and then I want to make sure that I get all the details of her outfit She has like a super cool like jester clown costume that with like the alternating Primary colors which just like really pops. I love that color palette and uh, we'll give her like her little collar and everything and now it's time to get to this background if you notice when she's floating through the void she kind of has this like cyan red glow almost like she's glitching which I think is really super cool and then when she's like zooming through the void it's kind of like I don't I don't know it's like all this light and kind of I, I don't know, reflectiveness. That's why I'm trying to use the metallic paint to see if I can create that effect with kind of like these little digital pixels. And here it is. And I think it's pretty successful. Like when you move around, it really does kind of feel like she's like zooming through the void. I love that. Okay, we are moving into my favorite game. We are here in Draw a Blank. Oh my gosh, you guys have already found me in here. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> okay, we have the prompt. This is my cat drank a potion. It turned into blank. Okay, um, I'm going to say that my cat turned into Gangle because why not, right? It's a potion. It could turn my cat into anything. Why not, Gangle? <laughs> So we're going to draw Gangle with like the broken happy mask and crying and stuff, which sounds really super sad. But I love Gangle's costume, but honestly, it's kind of hard to draw because it's just like these squiggly ribbons. So I think um, what I need to do is draw like a little bit of an outline to kind of show what's overlapping where to kind of create that effect. Hopefully it was somewhat successful um, and you can tell what it's supposed to be. <laughs> And of course, you can't forget the tears on like the little sad mask. And there we go. I barely, barely got that drawn. <laughs> it says my cat drank a potion. It turned into blank. Oh no, a melted cat. That's like the saddest thing ever. Don't melt cats, okay? <laughs> I'm getting all the crying faces. Oh my gosh, it just turned into a duck. Yes, I love that. <laughs> Four stars. It's making me laugh. I'm giving it lots of laughy faces and hundreds and fires. Oh no, it turned into a dog and it looks really super sad about that. But it's a good drawing. I'm still gonna give it four stars. Here's mine. Let's see what everybody thinks about it. Waiting for some reactions. Oh no, we got like scared and crying faces. And the haw, that's not a good sign, guys. Yes, their cat turned into SpongeBob. I need that potion. Five stars. Oh, this one is so cute. It turned their cat into like a little mushroom. Stop. Okay, five stars. That's so cute. Okay, and the winners are... No, I didn't make it at all. <laughs> okay, let's see how many points I did get, though. Um, I got eight points. Not terrible. Okay, let's see if we can do better this round. 
I won the costume contest dressed as blank. Okay, um, you know what? I'm gonna sabotage the server um, to see if that will up my chances of winning. <laughs> And I went ahead and picked like the wacky colored one. So it's going to change the color of the ink like every few seconds. And um, I think I'm going to go to the costume contest dressed as Pomni. And I want to do her like super bewildered expression where she's having like an existential crisis. <laughs> and she's got like the scribbly eyes. That's what I'm trying to do. Like super zoomed in. And I think like the crazy colors actually made a really cool effect. I mean, I kind of do. We'll see what everybody else thinks about it. I'm going to add a little bit of shading in and then probably go back in with like a black to try to um, just emphasize some of my lines and stuff. And yeah, I think this actually turned out really super cool. Um, it's kind of messy, but I think that's why I kind of like it. It's, it's a cool style. I kind of want this ink all the time. Okay, time to vote. Oh my gosh, look at the little rainbow spider. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> in the server too that found me. Okay, I love the banana suit though. That's amazing. There's nothing funnier than like a banana suit. So five stars. <laughs> they went to the costume contest dressed as me. I don't know if you would win for that though. So maybe only four stars. <laughs> Okay, here is my Pomni. I think she turned out really super cool. Like, I, I honestly really like it, but maybe that's just me. Oh no, I'm getting a bunch of the huh faces. So um, maybe they're not a fan. <laughs> I was not expecting to see that. Okay, five stars. And the winners are... Oh man, no, I didn't even place at all again. This is so sad. Wait, I didn't get a single star! Cool. <laughs> that has never happened in the, the history of, of me drawing ever. <laughs> Ouch, that hurts. Okay, I just saw a pink blank. Okay, this is a really good prompt to really draw whatever you want. You just have to use the color pink. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and draw Kinger because I have not drawn him at all yet. So I'm gonna try to get like his basic shape down. I think he's like a chess piece, right? Um, he's like the king piece in a chess set. So we got to get like that little crown on the top of his head. And then of course he has like his super sleigh robe that he wears, which is normally purple. But you know what? I think we're going to make it pink. It'll be just fine. And I'm going to get like one of his little floating hands in there. Honestly, like the fur, like the Dalmatian fur that goes around his robe is such a sleigh. I would wear that robe. <laughs> I kind of want one, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I gotta make sure I get some of his like facial features in there though. I've got his eyeballs. We'll give him a little bit of an outline. And I think you can tell what it is now. He's looking pretty good. Although um, he might need to get his eyes checked out. I think he has pink eye. <laughs> okay, time to vote. Oh, we got the sussy among us. <laughs> oh, we got the pink fluffy unicorn. It's so cute. Okay, four stars. Oh, is this like, um, like from Ban Ban, I think? It's like a pink bird? I think so, I think so. Five stars, that's pretty good. Okay, here's my Kinger. I'm like anxiously awaiting the reactions. Okay, I'm getting some heart faces and some huhs. Like some mixed reactions from the crowd. I don't know, guys. Okay, and the winners are, please, fingers crossed. Okay, finally, I placed, I came in third. <laughs> Actually, I tied with second, but still, I only got six points. Like, no one is voting in this server. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna come over here and show you guys um, over at the shop. We just added a bunch of new emotes. So if you go down here, you can purchase these with in-game coins. I'm gonna go ahead and set a new one. We'll see if I actually get to use it on the stage though. At the beach, I built a sand blank. Okay, I think the natural thing to draw here would definitely be a sand castle, but you know, that does not fit our theme. So I've got to think of something else. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to create like the water, the sky, uh, the sand. We're going to create some little waves and like sea foam happening. And now I am going to build my sand jacks. <laughs> Because that's a totally normal thing to build out of sand at the beach, right? So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get his basic outline down. And then thankfully, because he's just made out of sand, I really don't have to like use too many colors, right? <laughs> I love Jax's like big toothy grin, though. And he has such like a mischievous personality. He's super funny. Um, but to spice things up here, I think I'm going to throw another sabotage into the mix just to see if that's going to help me out. If I can if I can get that win finally, because you know what? I feel like this is my turn. My uh, sand jacks looks pretty great. Okay, we got a sand castle, which is a, it's a really good sand castle. I'm gonna give that three stars. 
Okay, here's mine. I think it's good. He's got some texture. He totally looks like he's made out of sand. That would be impressive if he made that out of sand. Come on, you guys know it. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting good reactions too. He's like begrudgingly building a sand castle. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty good one. They even got the little flag on top. You know, I really appreciate this one. They did the sky with the sun in the water, in the beach, and the little flag. So I'm going to give that five stars and tons of fire emojis. So I think it's pretty good. Okay, winners are... No! <laughs> I cannot win a round to save my life today. What is going on? <laughs> I, I tied and last again. This one is called Vibe Space Hangout and Spray. I don't know how I feel about it. Usually, like, the vibe games are a little sus to me. I don't know. But I'm going to give this one a whirl and just see how I like it. It says it's for pro artists and the about. So we're going to go ahead and try it. Okay, of course I spawn into the bathroom. <laughs> it's giving sussy already. <laughs> um, let's leave the bathroom and see if it's any better out here. <laughs> okay, it's actually really pretty once you leave the bathroom. Oh, there's like a little waterfall over here. Okay, this is kind of cute. Oh, there's like a little frog back behind the waterfall. That's adorable. <laughs> Okay, we are gonna go ahead and try to find a spot where I can do some drawing. Um, I think this spot over here looks pretty good. Um, it's a pretty big empty open wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I think I really want to draw um, the scene where they go to Kofmo's room and find that he's been abstracted. I absolutely love that scene for so many reasons. I think the design of his room is so super cool. I love all the stuff that's drawn all over the walls. And then I think the character design of like the abstracted characters is super awesome as well so um i'm really excited to get going on this we're gonna start off with the background um i'm actually really liking drawing in this game so far um it has some different things to it i feel like it's really smooth to draw like um if you go into free draw um i feel like the pencil is very blocky that you use where this one feels more rounded but also like way smoother than it is in spray paint so it's kind of a really cool in between um some of the tools um are a little bit different to use like the line tool um you can actually move the points um where you put the line down which is helpful um but there are like some like little quirks to it like you can't like start a line right where the last one left off because then it thinks you're trying to alter that line but once you get the hang of it it's, it's actually it's pretty good to draw with um i'm gonna go ahead and cover the entire background with the exit 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 and while i'm drawing this i felt like i was going slightly insane because um i wrote the word so many times do you ever like say a word or write a word so many times it stops feeling like a word like I kept being like am I spelling this right is this even a word anymore I don't know <laughs> But um, here I actually bought this pass that was called like Perfect Transparency and I for the life of me could not figure out how to make it work. If you've ever played this game and you have that pass, please let me know down in the comments how to make it work because it was not transparent at all. <laughs> but I did go ahead and buy the neon which works perfectly. I, I could figure that one out with my two little brain cells. Um, and I used that to create like the neon eyes that are on the abstracted characters. And I'm trying to just go in and add like a little bit of shadow under where the figure is so that way it looks a little more three-dimensional that's what i was really hoping to use that transparency um tool for but i just couldn't get it to work but here it is it is all finished um i think it turned out super cool um yeah if you guys have not checked out this game i think it's worth a go um it seems relatively new there's not a ton a ton of people playing it but i think you know just stay out of that sussy bathroom and you'll probably be just fine <laughs> Okay, we are moving right into spawn -a doodle because you know what? I want to spawn some of these characters. So um, we are going to start off with Bubble because I don't think Bubble gets enough love on the internet these days. So, and I, and I really want to spend some time to like draw him proper, okay? I know I drew him in speed draw, but um, I want to like really get all the nuances of his little like bubbly, um, you know, body. <laughs> But we're going to do um, kind of a similar thing with lots of pastels. Um, and I think we're going to try to create like some little gradients and those highlights with like the blues and greens um, and areas and then kind of go into like purples and pinks and others and use lots of white to kind of make that reflective um, quality that a bubble has. Um, and then once we've got all of those like little colors down, then I think it'll be time to start drawing his cute little face. I love that he has kind of like those little black beady eyes, which I think are so cute 
cute. And um, we're going to draw um, the little highlights in his eyes because he's a very shiny guy being a bubble, you know. And honestly, like once you get the bubble texture down, then it's really simple from there. So we're going to give him his like big toothy smile, um, which is basically just a bunch of triangles. It's, it's really super easy. So that's what I'm going to fill in next here. And then once we have that done, um, we're just going to give him like that final outline with a super thin line. And I think it's time to make him spawn. So I'm thinking to spawn him with some sparkle because why not, right? Oh my gosh, look at him, he's so cute. Made with all the love I'm legally allowed to give. <laughs> okay, if I'm gonna have Bubble, then I have to draw Kane. I feel like the two of them just go together. You can't have one without the other. They're like the little besties um, in the, the digital circus world. So we're gonna draw Kane, and um, this is a little tip for you guys. If you play Spawn a Doodle, um, and you want to sketch something out that's like a little more, um, you know, more than just like a casual doodle, what I'll do is I will use a part that I know I don't need. So in this case, I know I don't need a wheel part. So I use that as my sketch layer where I kind of draw it out so that way I don't mess up. And then I get the, the part that I actually want, which is the head, and I trace over it and color it in there. Um, and that kind of saves me from coloring over my sketch and kind of like wasting some of my ink. So that's what I'm doing here. Once I get him mostly colored in, um, then I can go ahead and just totally delete that wheel part because I don't need it anymore And then I'll get a bunch of my ink back, which is awesome So that's what I just did there and now I'm gonna draw his like eyes I love how he has like the blue eye and the green eye, which I think is super cool And then I think he just needs his cane because he is cane, right? What is cane without a cane? <laughs> And then a nice little outline, and he's pretty much going to be done here. I think he turned out pretty good. Kane's like, I was really nervous to draw him because it's really weird to just draw, like, teeth and eyeballs. But <laughs> here he is. I think he looks awesome. And then I have Bubble spawned as a pet. So, like, Bubble is going to follow me around as I am morphed into Kane. And we're just going to jump on this massive trampoline because why not? <laughs> It reminds me of like when he's like zooming around through the digital circus world. That's what's happening right now. Okay, and it would not be a drawing in all of the art games video if I did not draw in free draw. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna draw a character that I never see like any fan art of. Um, I'm gonna draw the Gloink Queen because she is one of my favorite characters. I just like love her energy and her vibe. I don't know, her character was so funny to me. So um, I thought I would show some uh, love for the Gloink Queen. Um, I think her design is really super cool. She looks like some weird like snake eel thing um, with like polka dots and eyeballs all over. It's just so weird. I'm obsessed with it. Um, and then she's got like the long tongue that comes out. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so that's what we're drawing today. And I think like the whole environment that she's in and like that little dungeon is really super cool. It's like really dark and dingy, but then there's like those little neon lights that are kind of sprinkled throughout. And so I'm really excited to draw some of that. With the Gloink Queen, I really wanted to try to give her like a painterly feel and really capture like all those different tone variations um, that are in the movie with the different like mood lighting and stuff. So that's why we're going with like some really deep purple shadows and like magenta and stuff on the underside of her to really kind of create some of that lighting effect and then um, we also have to add in her polka dots and then in the shaded areas we're going with like kind of this dirty yellow color because they're they're in the shadow they're not gonna be as bright as the stuff that's like in the light right so um, now that I've got all of her polka dots down um, I'm going back in with um, a lot of transparency to create those shadows again and um, of course we got to color in the tongue and then she has like that blue the blue lips that like go all the way down her body i i don't really understand the anatomy but you know you do you girl <laughs> she's a glug queen she can do whatever she wants with those blue lips i guess Okay, so now that I've got her pretty much sketched out and drawn, um, we're gonna work on this background. And so I'm just laying down like a really dark gray to get me started. And then I want to try to create some of those neon lights and stuff that are in the background. Um, and I love how there's like the little stars and sparkles and polka dots in the back too. 
I think it's so cute. Like, I would love to decorate a room like that. kind of reminds me of, like, how you would get, like, those glow-in-the-dark stars and put them on your ceiling. Um, I, that's what it reminds me of. But um, once we get all of those kind of put throughout, I'm going to use some white to kind of put in the center to really give it, like, that neon light effect. Um, and then I want to create some of, like, that texture that is on the walls in the, like, the cave dungeon thing that they're in. So, again, I'm just using, like, really low transparencies and just kind of creating some texture back there. Now, of course, it would not be the Gloink Queen without like her, some Gloinks for her to eat. So we're gonna draw like a little star circle and square Gloink down here. And um, I think their character design is like so weird and funny to me. They kind of remind me of like, I don't know, those weird little like stuffed animal toys back in the day that would sing and they had like those circle lips. I don't know, they're really weird. I'm gonna put a picture of them on the screen. I don't remember what they're called off the top of my head. But they totally remind me of that, but like also kind of like, I don't know, like little kid like building blocks or kind of like those like shape puzzles and stuff. Um, I just think they're like really super cute. Here is our little gloink queen in her dungeon. She's about to feast on some of these gloinks. <laughs> I think she turned out really super cool. If you guys had a character that I missed, let me know down in the comments who you think I should draw next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Get out of here before the moon gets frisky!